<laughs> oh man, uh, wave cheating all over the place. <laughs> yeah. I saw this whole thing online. It's so funny. It's like, guys, I figured out this amazing new melee tech. It's called power canceling. Step one: hit the power button on your GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> What's your step two in the game? <laughs> Alright, we're going right in it. Fox McCloud versus the Red Fox McCloud. Yeah. Red one looking for blood. Coin Chaser is the red one. Maybe. I don't know. Yes. Yes? Yes. Alright. It's a little confusing because the player one thing is red, but... That's what was throwing me off. Yes, <laughs> but the names, the names should be correct. Alright. So Chaser's if you're here. looking at the stocks... Uh, Coin Chaser did take the first stop. Alright. Coin Chaser ahead. Very comfortable in the Shine matchup. Yep. And we see it, you know, the other match we started on platforms and went to FD. Now we're starting on FD. Oh. Good recovery, high. Oh! Woo! I thought nice. that high recovery was good too. And he spread that way better than I thought so. Oh! Oh! Jab that was smash. lovely. Jab resets him and then. Gives him the hard up smash. Storm coming and saying, hey, I can do this too. I play this character. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, and Coin Chaser coming in saying, oh yeah, I know you play this character, <laughs> but I play this character too. Uh, yeah, right. Both players have pretty even percents here. Although Ooh. Storm at the Super Saiyan percent of 69. Not, oh, with that chain grab down smash, you see that one laser hit. Hey, Coin Chaser, <laughs> whoop, I'm going to mark you. <laughs> see this edge guard? It's mine. Oh boy. Oh, oh, maybe not. We missed the second back air. Hit the he held him one. for a second. He looked him directly in the eyes in that crab and said, I'm going to up air you. <laughs> <laughs> and then he didn't. Uh, Unfortunate. Oof. Ooh. Good dash attack. Oh, oh, misses the shine. But at least he didn't get hit by the Firefox. Oh. Unfortunate flood by Storm. Yeah, Corn Chester went pretty, pretty hard there. Oof. Went Miss, in deep. Misses the pivot up tilt. There it is. Yeah. Nice on throw back air. And we're back to pretty even stocks here. I like how Storm didn't go for the up air. Didn't want to risk the smash DI or the janky hit to not hit the second hit. That was good. Right. Just had a little patience. I'm like, alright. I know what'll work here. It is a virtue. For sure. Oh. Storm trying to get those chain grabs. But Coin Chaser ain't having any of it. No. He's just laying oh. on the pressure. Hits him right out of the Oh! Cool. Uh oh! Coin chaser falls in. Oh no! Looks like we might have a, oh. a closer game than we thought here. Good nair. Ooh, Takes gets, him the gets that free laser in there. He's like, I will <laughs> not get JV. <laughs> we gotta start on. We gotta start with some advantage. That, that extra cut two percent. Yeah, man, that's a difference between a sixty-four and a sixty-six. <laughs> Ooh, oh. great shine by Coin Chaser. Yep. Ceiling game one. Yep. Comes back from a little SD and just gives him a, gives him the classic. Uh, I can hold the ledge, and while I'm doing so, you can't. <laughs> and we're going here for game two on Battlefield. I'm surprised. I don't know who got the strike, but I'm surprised they didn't go to um, uh, b b Battlefield first. And then FD for the counter pick if he felt comfortable in his chain grabs. Well, yeah, it could be, could be that um, that Storm actually had the, the striking and banning first. That's true. And, or rather was able to pick the stage at, at the end. And uh, he was the one that doing a lot of the uh, chain grabbing. So it could be that he's like, well, I'll just bring him to FD first. Lay down some chain grabs. And it's going well for him here. Yeah, he's the platforms the are working stop. out. He's like, all right, maybe no, maybe no grabs. <laughs> yeah. Maybe FD was uh, uh, maybe it was my final destination. Yes, yes, and all it right. looks like again we're pretty even here. Storm putting out a pretty good performance. Yeah, trading a lot of hits, like more trades than I would think to see. Right. Yeah, both players playing at like a very consistent pace, keeping up with each other. Getting all the key techs, taking a lot of shines, barely missing the shine back there. Yeah, and Storm Oof. is doing an excellent job here this stock. I don't know if that was a flub or patience, but either way, it worked out for Storm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coin Chaser makes it back to the ledge. Ooh, planking with the getup and the up smash. Yeah. That sucked. Yeah. That just sucked. <laughs> oh. All right, good back air. Ooh. Barely mistimes the up tilt. Coin Chaser getting back on stage. Up throw, weak back air. Good angle. Yeah. Ooh. Nice ledge dash, gets back on stage. Avoids that up tilt. Point chaser, living. 
Good yeah. DI by Storm. And we saw a great showing for Storm earlier in the stock, and Coin Chaser just says, no, I'm going to live, and here, have 100 damage back. Ooh, there it is. Coin Chaser. Take... Oh, all right. I have to go lose my second game. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll see you a little later. Good luck. And these foxes are just going at it. They're at pretty, pretty even percents here. I, you know, we were saying that a stock lead is even a little negligible. So a percent difference is not exactly the end of the world, although when we get to this much of a difference, it will definitely affect things as Coin Chaser is building some nice momentum here. Ooh, okay. Fades back a little bit to grab the ledge. To avoid that up smash. And there we go. The back air will take that stock. And now we are on Storm's last stock. Perhaps of the match. It's going to have to do some hard work here to, to come back. Oh, boy. Nice, nice. Point Chaser looking to finish out things quick. So much pressure. And there it is. The up smash takes it. And another 2-0 victory on stream here, this time for Coin Chaser.